M0FXB, take a look here. What's going on with my Radtail 860 or UV88 GPS model? We've connected it to the PC using the Bofun cable. The settings on the actual radio, I'm going to show you now. The download is on the Radtail site. I'm going to put a direct link in for you to download the software. Let me just show you the settings on the radio. I'll probably lose my GPS when I do that. So just go menu round button. Well, what's all that? We have to back out. Uh, star menu to go to extend menu. Which is normally up. There it is. Extended. Select GPS. Select. Select again and then up and down to on and then back with the star button. Down one, board rate. Now mine's on 9600 and it seems to be working. I don't really want to mess with it. Um, and then back again with the star. This time go down to PC monitor, press the middle button and select go down one with the arrow and then set on and then back out of course you need a gps lock and i've set a shortcut on my radio so i know i've got a lock by going menu down to where is a key define you want there it is select middle round button down to number zero i go long press so it says zero long press press that and then I select GPS and then all I do is now when I press the long press on on um, say zero it goes to GPS and if you've got a lock it will show GPS which we have got a lock there so I'm going to test this next on my um, rad tail because this is the UV88 model so look at all this information I don't literally don't know where to start um, but it's showing on the right hand side here um, it's showing satellites that are flashing some in green see the blue information there that means you've got a gps module in your device and you can see it's updating live and there's lots of selections up here um so i'm just going to click through them and you've got the, the position just sort of flashing on and off there i will try changing the board rate because it does say 9 600 on um, both I just go like that. Um, um, no, see that way it just didn't like that at all. So I go back to one one five hundred. Yeah, it starts to work. So I'm just cancelling this. So, well, as you can see, one one five two hundred, and it works. When I was on nine six hundred, it stopped working. So that's definitely worth knowing now what if I change it the board rate on the actual go device manager because the board rate is basically effectively the speed so here it is here go right click device manager ports then right click properties port then I'm just going to change that to uh 115200 and see if that improves the sort of i don't know where it feels a bit like it's a bit glitchy click ok click ok if it starts working i'll change it back so at least we know they're both at 115200 and then now i'm going to actually change it on the actual radio so we go back menu extended gps board rate down one down again with the arrow to ec one five two hundred select and then back out completely we'll hold down the zero again see if we still got a gps lock which we have okay well i've set all the board rates the same and now that's better that's not flashing now. That's working really good. I'm so mind you, a lot of the blues vanished, mm, but it doesn't seem so glitchy. 
And look, you've got a map here as well. Let's click some of these. Satellites. Look at all this. I mean, it's just fun, isn't it? I and mean, where do you start? I'm literally just clicking everything. And, uh, so thanks for watching. I'm not sure if changing the board rate on the radio helped. I go, but disconnect. And then connect again. All these windows opening. Just cl literally clicking everything. Give it a go. Thanks for watching. All the links are in the description. Seven